YouTube, welcome back to my channel. This is The Real Nathan Daly. And listen, I have a very interesting clip to share with you guys. This came across my email and I, I, I watched it and I was completely blown away. I'm not going to lie. If you guys are not familiar with this, it works to the daycare workers who thought it was a smart idea to actually put on a scream mask, right? Scream, like the scary movie scream, and then terrorize the children that they're supposed to be uh, taking care of, you guys. Completely, completely ridiculous and foolish and very 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 sad to see them torment the children like this now listen this is this is no physical physical attack against the kids but definitely psychological mental and emotional um attack and if you're not familiar i'm going to play the clip um it's the reason why uh youtube did censor or flag this video for you to confirm if you are okay with seeing this you guys it's because it's children involved um very 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 sad situation but listen let's play it I want to get your thoughts on it, and I'm going to give you my um, personal and professional opinion um, in reference to this video. It's a reminder that actions have consequences. Criminal charges have been lodged against those daycare workers who terrified their young charges by confronting them wearing a screen mask. First, they lost their jobs. Now, as Stephen Fabian reports, they are facing some serious charges. The video shocked the nation. Daycare workers scaring toddlers with a scream mask. The little ones shrieking and crying in utter terror. The mother of this two-year-old girl gave Inside Edition permission to show her face. It's heartbreaking. Now, four of those daycare workers have been criminally charged with felony child abuse. A fifth was charged with assault. I think they deserve every bit of it. Jesse Reeves, a working mom of six children, says her three-year-old Jaxie is still traumatized and has been drawing pictures of the monster. And she says, this is a mask, mama. This is a monster. <laughs> Caitlin Johnson's two-year-old son, Pierce, was chased around the daycare by the monster as another grown-up laughs and encourages her. This is a place where you drop your kid off and hope that he's safe, and then this happens. Can you even fathom that? No, I can't. There's no excuse for it. The daycare in Hamilton, Mississippi, has been shut down. The five workers on duty that day were fired, and if convicted, face jail time. One daycare worker posted a tearful apology on social media. If I could take it back, I would. But that's too little too late for the moms of these terrified children. You work in a daycare. That's, that's not acceptable one bit. <laughs> Four of the women face felony child abuse charges. A fifth worker faces a misdemeanor of simple assault and failing to report abuse. Mm. Well. Wow. Listen, when, when I saw this, I was com completely floored. Like, I actually could not believe a group of grown women thought this was a smart idea. They are imbeciles, you guys. Complete idiots. All, what is it, four or five of them? And they lost their job. They're being charged. They're being charged with a felony. You know, that's, here in Georgia, that would be considered like, and don't quote me on the exact title, but it'd be equivalent to like cruelty to children, right? What you're doing is cruel and unacceptable to these kids. Now, um, what do we have here? They decided to put on a mask and run around and torment the children and listen, one of the kids are having nightmares and drawing pictures of, of the monster, right? Could you imagine the psychological damage behind that? Now, some people might have a lot to say. I think these charges are appropriate. Um, I'm glad they got arrested. And I don't know why they thought this was cute. This was a game or a joke. If, my, if they did this to my child, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, right? God bless them because I, I would be, I'd probably be laying my hands on somebody. They are idiots. They're idiots. I don't even understand what type of logical reasoning they had. And this is, these are the people that we are, we are allowing to watch our children. You guys, this is very, very saddening. Um, very saddening. I don't really know what else to say about it, but I'm glad they got arrested. Um, and not only that, right? So there's another person who was charged with the misdemeanor and failure to failure to report 
more than likely that's the person recording, right? Like that's probably the, 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 the daycare worker who was actually recording the incident, who at, at the same time, a grown, another grown adult who thought this was okay. And I don't know, like this, this is, this is crazy to me. Let me, let me wind this back. I, look at this child's face after being terrible. Like what? I like how they zoomed in on her too. Yeah, they definitely really want to hone in on on how cruel. This is cruel. This is cruel. And here's the thing too, where now these kids, are they going to feel comfortable going back into another daycare? Absolutely not. You know, I've worked daycare cases where um, daycare workers were doing things that were inappropriate. You know, um, we've had situations where people have put up little nanny cams and stuff like that in the daycare um, to catch inappropriate behavior. Um, there's been reports of child being, children being abused and they call the police, you guys. So we've worked cases like this. So it's very interesting that they filmed, first of all, how did they get this video, right? How did they get this video is another thing. Um, so I don't know. I wonder how this whole thing unfolded just to begin with. But what are you guys' thoughts, right? Look at this poor girl right here. This is so, so, so sad. Um, and you can tell she's, all the children in here are frightened. God, dog. Bunch of, bunch of idiots. Mm -hmm. This is why when I have kids, you guys, I, I plan on home homeschooling. <laughs> if I could, I pray that I have everything in order to where my wife doesn't have to um, go to work if she doesn't want to, and she can 100% stay at home and, um, and, and, and take care of the kids that way with the homeschool. But yeah, the, just the idea of putting my kids in the hands of strangers, um, things like this happen or worse, right? Best believe, you know, there's been plenty of cases where, of course, you have daycare workers um, inappropriately touching children, things like that. Um, you have kids who don't have the same type of, uh, households that bringing inappropriate things to the daycare, sharing it with the other kids. You guys, I've got reports of kids having drugs and guns, you know, in their, their, their diaper bags and, and book bags. You know, I've, I've seen, I won't say I've seen it all, but I've seen too much. <laughs> I've seen way too much for, for me, my little self. So, um, anyways. What are your thoughts on that? If you were a parent and these were your kids, how would you feel? What would you do? Uh, <laughs> what would you do? I've had a parent call the police and say, hey, I need to, uh, you guys can come and find me. I'll be out at the front. You can go ahead and put the handcuffs on me. Beat the brakes off of somebody from messing with the children, right? Um, and they turn themselves in. Called the police after beating down the person and was like, hey, I'm, I'm outside out front. You, you guys go ahead and take me to jail. You know, and then we show up and it's like, yeah, yeah, I had to do it. I'm like, hey, man, I understand. <laughs> I understand. Cooperated, went peacefully and everything. You know, people don't play about the children, man. They don't play about the children. So in this case, everybody got fired. The daycare got shut down. Um, they're all charged with felonies. I don't see a world where they're going to beat that charge at all. They're going to play that video. They're going to play this video in court and that's it. They're done. It's a done deal. Um, cruel to the children. Who knows? I'm pretty sure they don't. They might not have a criminal record. I don't see them being able to get a job there, working with children with a criminal record. Um, I definitely see them doing some time and then doing a lot of probation. But all that, all that for what, right? Anyways, you guys, that's it for that video. Craziness. Um, more to come, you guys. Like, comment, share, subscribe. With that, good night. God bless.